All right, uh, we'll get started. Um, hello, um, my name is Jim, and I am a WordPress developer. Um, and I am to talk, here to talk about um, using WP Query to um, display the content that you want and not specifically what WordPress wants. Um, so what are we gonna learn today? A um, little bit about me, a lot about WP Query, what it's like to have godlike powers over WordPress content, responsible use of said godlike powers, and any questions? So a little bit about me. Um, my day job is a web developer for Stat News. Um, we're a member of the Boston Globe Media Partners and uh, been around for, I've been there for almost two years. Uh, before that, I was at an agency Total, in total, I was a web developer for seven years, um, but working in technology for about, about 20, a little more than 20. Um, I gave up counting. Um, I am a co-organizer, as uh, Thomas mentioned, for Boston WP, um, also for WordCamp Boston, and um, just this year I started acting as uh, one of the developers for New England GiveCamp. So now, let's, what, is about, what is WP Query? So WP Query is what makes the WordPress go around. This is the driving force for getting content out of your database and onto your site. Um, without WP Query, you would just have empty templates. Um, most commonly, you'll think of it as using within the loop, actually most specifically to interrupt the loop or to co-opt it for your own various means. Um, but there's a lot of helper functions that also take advantage of WP Query and actually part of WP Query. So um, let me step back a second. How many have used WP Query, like have really interacted with it? Um, how many have um, developed a plugin or a theme um, using what is known as the loop? Um, okay, so you're familiar with have post, the post, those are all part of WP Query. Also, you can decide, you can find what, um, where you're located in your, um, in your site, whether using is single, um, has taxonomy, all of those use in some, in some way, shape, or form uh, WP Query. So here's the basic structure um, for building a, a query. I grabbed this off of um, this fantastic site called uh, Gener uh, Generate WP. Um, you can use that to build many uh, um, skeletons of um, uh, custom post types and taxonomies and, in this case, WP Query. So there are two different ways um, that you can structure your, um, your query. Um, one is, and, and most uh, examples use your arguments in an array um, separate from the class call. And um, these are just some of the uh, standard uh, um, array keys that you would put in. So for example, a post type, um, if you're choosing a custom post type, this is specific um, to pull the information from that post type. Um, but you can also use posts, or if you want to use pages, um, you can do that as well. You can also string them along in the array. Um, the next is the post status. Um, by the way, the default for post type is posts. Um, with post status, um, you can, by, def by default, it comes with publish. Um, you can select publish, private, for some odd reason, if you want to show drafts um, and uh, scheduled posts, you can do that as well. Um, no paging will say whether you want um, whether you want the loop to be able to run multiple times and grab like a certain amount of posts, display those, go back for the next, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that goes in hand in hand with paged and post for page. Um, page will um, show you will um, tell the query where it is in in line, so where the pointer is. Um, and post for page tells you tells WordPress how many posts to bring that back at one time. There's a magic number, um, negative one, that will bring back the full load. So if you want everything, you can bring back everything. Um, in that case, you won't need paged because you have all in, all in one. Um, post per page, um, using that overrides the default option that you set 
for how many posts you want to come back in a standard archive, so you can increase it, decrease it um, to your heart's content. Um, last two, is, those two go hand in hand as well. One is order, so you can choose ascending or descending, and how you want it ordered by. So you can choose by title, by the modified date, by the um, post date, et cetera, et cetera. Um, once you have your array built, um, you assign um, a variable to the, the WP Query class, pass in those arguments. Now, I said there was two ways. The second way of doing it is foregoing that first variable and just building the array right in the class call. Um, I've done both ways, um, and I'll show examples. I'll show an example of why I did the array version um, as opposed to just pulling it um, into the class call. Once you have that, um, you, you do your loop. Um, now, the difference between using the standard loop and using one built from uh, uh, handcrafted by WP Query is you actually have to be explicit with that um, query variable that you've, you've called, you've created. Um, built into those are the half posts and the post. Um, and then from there on, you can just keep going with once you call the post, you can grab, you can use get the ID, you can get the post title, um, or the title, et cetera, et cetera, and go uh, and carry on. Um, down at the bottom here um, is a, a little uh, function called reset post data. So you use that for basically getting your house back in order. When you um, use WD query, um, you, like I said, you're interrupting, you're co-opting the loop, and you want to make sure that you get uh, your, your house, like I said, your house back in order so that way WordPress can carry on as nothing had happened. Um, by the way, if you have any questions, go ahead and interrupt me. If I'm talking too fast, wave your arms so I can slow down. So now it's for the meat of, of my talk. Um, this is going to be very code heavy and um, I get to show off stuff that I did in my day job. Um, so the first is um, basically using um, a page as an archive. Um, Stat has a feature called Stat Plus. I highly encourage everyone to sign up for it. Um, and we have certain uh, articles that are behind this paywall. And we want to be able to um, expose those out for people that have um, paid. In fact, we have two pages. One is kind of a teaser, the other is um, the actual archive. Um, so basically, we were using a page called um, SAP Plus um, and using, uh, using WQ Query and using the loop, we're able to um, turn that into like your regular category archive page. Um, so in this example, there are uh, two functions. The first is actually building the loop. So um, this first line is actually pretty, um, pretty powerful and, and pretty important. So if you, have, if you use the, um, the paged flag in, um, in your query, you need to be able to get that flag back. Um, so something built into um, into WB query is this method, uh, function called get query var. And specifically grabbing that page variable will tell you what page WordPress is on. So for example, um, you have like 30 posts per page. Then at the bottom you have the navigation, next post, older post, newer post, that type of thing. This is what sets that flag. And the URL shows page two, three, four, etc. cetera. Um, the next line shows um, a method that we're gonna use to actually get the posts. Um, which is further down. Um, check to make sure that it's there. Um, and then we do a little trickery with the WP Query Global. Because we want to turn this page into an archive, and because we're a um, media company, we need to pay the bills, we have to supply ads, um, we want to make sure that our, um, our ads are in the right place. So um, using the query um, is home, or the, the the flag is home will tell you that you're on the home page or an archive page. We want to make sure that's set to false. Um, is it a category? Yes, we want to act this as a category. So we want to make sure the ads do show up um, for category based. And is author is something we do um, because our, um, our archive page has a flag for, um, has certain um, hooks for 
um, showing our, our authors. Um, now, because we're co-opting the, the global WP query, which is what holds everything that you need, um, we want to store that in its own uh, temporary variable. Um, do, the, do a switcheroo, make WP query global the paywall posts, and then we can use um, a template to loop through our posts. Um, basically, making the paywall post query um, WP query, you can use um, it, 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 the, the loop template will treat it as um, as a normal WordPress page, uh, as a normal WordPress loop. Lastly, um, we want to put everything back, um, so make it original back to WP query. And the reason we do this is we can still take advantage of the content editor and um, featured image and all that stuff that a page normally has, and use that as like you know um, um, header information and then do our archive down below. So we want to make sure we keep that query. Um, and lastly, um, make sure you um, put your house back in order. So this is the actual query for um, gra grabbing our paywall, our paywall posts. So I like to be pretty explicit. So I um, make sure the post type is post. Um, and the reason why is because our stat plus posts are regular posts. They just have a meta flag for saying that they're restricted. Um, so a post type of post that they are published. Um, we want to make sure it's newest article first um, by the order by and the order. And then um, a meta query. One thing that tripped me up a lot when I was um, way, way back starting in my, in my development um, is meta queries and tax queries use this thing called an array, use array of arrays. And I'll show you why in, in another example. Um, but if you're doing just one, one call, you're looking for one flag, you still got to nest that array in an array. Um, it, you get very weird results if you do it otherwise. Um, so this is an example of why I'm using the, um, the args array um, to build my, my query, because now I can set a couple extra flags based on certain conditions. So if there's no limit, um, then we don't need to set a limit. If we're not paging anything, we don't need to set a page. Um, then you run everything, you make sure that you've got posts, and return the posts. Next, so we use this, uh, this plugin by um, uh, uh, Heap and Help and of Automaticians called um, Zoninator. What this allows our editors to do is curate certain posts um, that they can put ahead of the main content. Um, we use it in, in a lot of different ways. We have a couple widgets that pull in Zoninator posts. Um, we have newsletters that um, our editors can curate and then MailChimp pulls through RSS. So Zoninator is a very powerful powerful thing. Um, but what we do here, and this is our, this we used on our first generation of, um, of our homepage, is we allowed the editors to have, uh, basically fill the homepage as much as they want with um, curated posts, with curated posts, and then everything else, the next page goes on and on and on. Um, so we want to make sure that we're, um, again, using, since this is, this is an action, this is the pre save this is the pre-get post action. And what that allows you to do is um, basically what uh, does what's advertised. Before the post gets generated, you can use this hook to tweak the, tweak the query. Um, so you want to make sure it's the main query and you want to make sure you're at home because we're doing this for the home page. Um, so this zone in here, make sure we've got stuff. Um, we also have another feature that an editor can um, basically bubble a, a story way up to the top, um, co-opting um, our, our main banner. Um, we call that the war story, and it's in the war zone. Um, so we need the ID for that. Um, and using the query, the query global that came in through the action, um, we can get existing um, settings that the querying already has. One is um, this flag called post not in. Um, and post not in is, is kind of taboo, especially if you do VIP, WordPress VIP work. They forbid it because it's very expensive on the database. Um, but your mileage may vary. If you don't have a heck of a lot of content, you might be okay. 
Um, so we can grab the post not in to see if there's any, any other action that's already fit that stuff in. Um, um, that little comment is basically uh, WordPress, the WordPress loop needs something to display or it's not gonna display anything. So I gave WordPress the bottom, but the bottom row to um, start its loop. So we're doing a little math to say how many posts are there based on the post per page, um, grabbing the posts, and then using this lovely function called WP List Pluck. Um, basically what this does is it takes an array of objects and plucks out one object key from that array um, and presents you with, with an array. And nine times out of 10, I use it for IDs. So I just grab the ID. So now instead of having to loop through an object just to grab the ID, I have an array of IDs and I can just go hog wild with it. Um, I'm gonna get a count because the editors might not have already, uh, might not have filled up the zone. And then we wanna do our paged set to see if we need to, um, um, we wanna adjust the post per page to um, do the, the amount of content that we pulled in from the zone minus the default post per page so that we have um, a full page of content. Um, and then we're gonna set the post per page back and then set the offset, which I don't remember what offset is. Um, and then the bottom part is, um, this is the main part of that. We wanted to, the whole point of this action was to take up those IDs from the loop and make sure they don't get duplicated, make sure they don't get sent in twice. So we take the home zone IDs and the war ID if it exists, merge those together, um, take the existing post not in, squash those together with the home war, home and war zones, and then add that overwrite what came in originally from post not in with our new array of post post IDs. Um, what this will do is basically tell WordPress don't don't give us anything that we've already curated. Next, um, we're using the, glary, the glary? query global to filter taxonomies. And this is a little function that we use to, um, to enhance other queries, other WP queries. Um, it's not as used as much in our, uh, in our stuff anymore because, in our code anymore because of the way that we changed uh, sponsored posts, but it's still pretty, pretty useful. Um, Basically, what we're doing is just like grabbing, playing around with just the um, get terms and the uh, term taxonomy. Um, so you pass in your query, you pass in um, your taxonomy that you want to filter out, and go down until you get your term IDs, and then um, using the tax query part of WP query. Now, I remember I said um, tax query and meta query are array of arrays. So basically you're adding to tax query, adding to the tax query array an array of stuff that you're taking out. So the taxonomy based on the slug, I think that's what we're using, yep. Um, based on the slug, um, the terms based on that um, uh, taxonomy and um, that we don't want those in there. Um, and then setting that back into the uh, query um, the query global, you can carry on with the rest of your uh, WP query. Um, next, this is for uh, meta queries. So this is something I just recently put into play. Um, again, using Zoninator, um, for our newsletter feeds, we want to um, supply ads in there. And originally what would have to happen is our, our ad person would have to um, go into every zone that day, insert the ad, and then remember to take it out on the next day. What this is gonna do for, um, for them is to uh, do it all on, their po on, the, on the sponsored post page, and then we automatically um, put it in at a scheduled start and end date. Um, so, we're just grabbing a couple meta, meta keys um, based on whether we want the start or the end date, um, getting a timestamp, and then building, again, using the array, uh, the args array, um, building our post type based on the um, sponsor's custom post type. Um, we only want uh, 20 uh, posts because this is running on a cron job. This is using WP cron, runs every five minutes, so that way it, it <coughs> pull in everything. 
And this is the reason why MetaQuery and Tax Query is an array of arrays. Because right above, you can put a relationship between um, your different arrays. So what this will do is, um, if you look at an actual, the actual query that gets built, this is your, um, this is your where clause where you have this and this and this um, based on either a, a meta, met, post meta or um, taxonomy. So in this case, we're using that schedule to compare if the, um, the date is uh, less than or equal to um, the now, to the now, that sounded deep. Um, and again, um, we're able to add onto that meta query if it's a start, so we have the upper bound of the end date. And then um, running through the query, um, checking to see if it has posts, get the posts, and then adding um, this to, um, using zoninator's functions, using this to add to the zone, or if it's um, at an end date, take it away from the zone. Again, set your house in order so that um, WordPress doesn't have a connection. Um, so this is using the WPDB global itself. Um, we, we use it a couple times, but this is being more specific. Um, we have uh, comments enabled on, uh, on stat, and certain editors are responsible for certain categories, posts within those categories. And the default way that the category um, admin page works is, um, it doesn't show, it just shows the comments, it doesn't give a category, so they are having to kind of guess based on the title. So what this little, um, this little uh, function does is add that uh, column to the, um, to the table. Um, but instead of using the WP query, I'm, I'm kind of turning this on its ear. Instead of, um, there, are, there are certain times where you, where, where using WP query is kind of overkill because you don't need all of that. And all I really needed for this specific project was the, the term IDs to build, to build on. Um, so I'm using, um, using the WPDB global, you can use these built-in functions called get call, which just grabs one column from the table, in this case, the IDs. Um, WPDB prepare is your kind of your error checking, your sanitization. Um, it looks for flags like this percent %s down, down at the bottom there, um, and expects at the end a, um, uh, a value to insert in there. Um, there's also um, percent %d for decimal, um, percent %s is um, string. Um, I'm sure there are lots of others, but s and d are the two main ones. Um, one other thing to note is when you do WPDB prepare, Order matters, so if you've got somewhere above um, another string that you're calling, that has to be first, then your next variable, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the other thing to note about this is um, these curly braces. Um, that allows WordPress to, um, it's a convenience. It allows you to not have to hard code and guess what the table name is. Um, in the WP config, you can change the default table name, uh, table names to be, instead of WP underscore, they can be Joe underscore, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you're writing this for a plugin or a theme, you're not gonna know on someone else's site what their default is. So using WPDB and then the table name will chain that together for you. Um, the last thing you might notice is, <laughs> this is actual SQL. Um, and just building on this is this is like this is like a snapshot of what WPDB does in the background. Um, just does joins and wheres and all this wonderful stuff. Um, and then once I've got all that, I can just loop through and create uh, create um, create my terms uh, term column. Um, and because we don't want to display an array, we have to do a little cat implosion to um, do a common separated values and um, not make a mess. Um, so this is the last, this is my last one, and I went really fast. Um, and I saved the best for last. Um, this is using the post search filter. Um, 
And post search, um, actually, hold on. Yep, last one. Um, post search uh, is kind of like <sighs> interacting with post search is like being presented with a completed jigsaw puzzle and three extra pieces and told you need to fit those three extra pieces into this completed jigsaw puzzle blindfolded. Because um, what you're doing here is you're taking WordPress's default search of, um, and what it does is searches um, posts and post, no, just posts, post content, post um, title. It uses that and just brings back, bring back the posts. But what we want to do here is um, actually introduce an author's search. Um, so that way, when someone types in an author name, they'll get back the posts related specifically to that author. So, um, using a, a get search parameter, um, we're able to grab and sanitize the search query that's coming in. Um, using that search, use a uh, call for um, a plugin that we use called Coauthors Plus um, that allows us to do multiple authors and um, uh, multiple authors and guest authors. Um, if nothing came back from that, we don't need to do anything with a post search. Um, using that lovely WP list pluck again to um, just get the term IDs. And then doing a string replace, this is the blindfolded part, using the string replace to add the term relationships table and search into the post search. And I, I will be honest, I, I did a lot of Googling and I have to give credit, credit to Daniel Bakuber for writing the post on how to do this because I would never have found out that you have to find this string of three parens, close parens to, um, to insert this in. So basically what we're doing is we're shaving off one parenthesis, adding your stuff, adding the, the search and keeping, keeping going. Um, and that'd be all well and good, but I said there were three puzzle pieces. Well, I actually only needed to use two. Um, if you're familiar with a SQL query, you know that the first line is your select and what you want to grab. The next part is your joins, what you want to glue together from different tables. The next is your where, like what you want to pick up from, um, from your database. And the last is your order and limit. Well, because um, the, the powers that be at WordPress wanted you to be able to not only mess around with um, the post search filter, which is your where clause, um, but also um, your joins. So I can bring in, the, because by default, the, slow down, because by default, the, um, the tables that are used in search is just post. I think maybe post meta, but mostly post. Um, and because I want to grab term IDs, I need to join stuff in. So I need to grab what the current join is and then add to, to that record um, add to that variable the, um, the table that I want to pull in based on, um, if you ever looked at WordPress uh, term relationships table, it's just like four columns of numbers. One of those columns is um, the relationship between the post ID and the, um, and that term, that column for some odd reason is called object ID. And then the third column is the taxonomy term ID. So those three get married together and I can use that to, to pull this stuff in and return the join. Um, last thing about this is um, there's a space here and that's not a typo. Um, because you're gluing stuff together, um, you're grabbing, um, you're, you're adding stuff in. Well, WordPress isn't going to give you a space. You've got to add it. Um, and that is basically it. Um, a couple resources. Uh, the WordPress codex is... Um, and my slides, uh, by the way, are down, the link's down below. Um, uh, these all link to, out to those, um, those pages. The WordPress codex is um, invaluable in terms of WP query. That specific article has been so well written and so well maintained that it is, it is basically the Bible. I mean, you, you just can use that to build your queries and get information from it. They have good examples. It's well formatted, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I mentioned Gen Generate WP, excellent resource for um, getting your skeleton of what you want down. Um, there's an article in Smash Magazine that, um, that I found in my searches just to, um, 
to give a, a good primer in WP Query, um, give some good examples, et cetera, et cetera. And the last thing is this plugin called Query Monitor. And what Query Monitor does is it adds a little button to the, um, to the admin uh, bar that shows you how fast a query, how fast your queries um, render, um, the slow queries that come up, and if you really want to scare yourself, you hit the button and it gives you all the thousands of queries that WordPress runs at one time. Um, it is amazing that WordPress runs as fast as, as it does with the amount of queries that it pulls in. Um, but the value po valuable part of that is when you're messing around with your query, you can, you can pick the query that you just used that you, you build together with the arrays and test that query out on um, using SQL Pro or MySQL Workbench to get the direct results without um, having to um, uh, pray to the WordPress gods that it's going to give you uh, the, right, um, the right error message. Um, and we have infinite time for questions. Well, not infinite, but plenty of question, time for questions. Um, anything? Anyone? Go for it, You know you want it. What, what was the coding standard you were skipping in that first slide? Excuse me? <laughs> Which slide? The, the basic? No, I'm going to go forward. So oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, you're, you're commenting out one of the yeah. coding standards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this one, right? Um, it's, overriding, yeah. it's overriding the global. Uh, the coding standards really don't want you to override globals. Yeah. So you can't use, if you override w, you know, dollar post or dollar, uh, WP query, it, it screams at you in your linter. So we, um, we tell it to shut up. Anything else? Anyone else? Just general question. Yeah. How does it define your big one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Believe me, it's not my choice. So that's uh, common. That's yeah. standard. I asked that same thing myself, actually. We're putting ads behind our paywall. Yep. Could you have two paywalls? One higher. <laughs> Step plus plus. If you if you want to pay for it, I will I will try to argue the case for it. <laughs> How much is it worth to you? Do you feel common even program? Oh, yeah. Anything else? I have to go all the way to the beginning. There we go. Thank you very much.